Welcome back to the Emerson College Football Dynasty. I am C-Sharp, and this week we are going to battle against Georgia Tech. Another regional broadcast game. Let's check out the usual recruiting and coaching stuff. Okay, Swagger went up. Let's go. Okay. We got a soft verbal. This means we're good to go on Jared Carrington, a top 10 wide receiver, and Mario Thomas, a top 10 corner. Here we go. How about Davenport? We are in a close race with Penn State. Pitch feedback. Any new things? Nothing. No positive, no negative. Okay. And then with Swagger, we're now his top school. Okay. Our QB play didn't really sit well with him after our last game. He doesn't respect us much as a coach, but he somehow likes us more than West Virginia and Penn State. Still not ready for a visit yet, but he's out there. So what we're going to do is we're gonna kind of slice a little bit of these hours and give them to Swagger because we fucking need a quarterback. Because Paris is graduating, plus he's not that great. And then maybe we have the unproven talent of that freshman we redshirted, but I'd rather just have like a capable guy. So he's top 20 in the country, he's from New Jersey. His name is Swagger. Like what's not to love? Coach options, here we go. We played our first ranked team, what are, what are they going to say? Holy crap. How does it feel to be officially in the hot seat? Uh-oh. I don't like this, guys. Guys, we might get fired. Um, This is awkward. You really think I'm the problem? When I haven't even gotten to recruit some young kids yet? Man, I'm actually a little bit nervous now. <laughs> We're playing Georgia Tech this week. Oh, God. No, more dumb shit. Ben Neal. He broke not one of multiple team rules this past weekend. I can only suspend him for a quarter, so I will do that. God damn it, Ben Neal, you moron. All right, here we go. All right, we are going to Georgia Tech. So we're now 113, okay. So we're still bottom 10 in the country. But hey, we're, no, we're, we're nowhere near where we were at the beginning of the season, which means some teams are just really bad. Baker and Magruder are our leading players. And Dukes, despite all the drops in the world, is still our best wide receiver and our best player on offense, statistically speaking. I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Thanks for joining us for another great Thursday night showdown. There should be a lot of big hits in this one. And here come the Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jackets look like the better team on paper, but what do you think of this matchup here, Kirk? Georgia Tech is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Nice pick, Kirk. I'm going with the Yellow Jackets. So last week, we played against one of the best quarterbacks in the conference, and now we're playing against one of the best running backs in the conference. Oh boy, we're gonna kick the ball first. Just gotta stay focused and get our first ever dub in school history. Okay. If this kid doesn't go over 100 yards today, I'd be very surprised. All right, now we have a challenge. Make sure the running back doesn't go over 100 yards. Shit, all right. Oh, my God. He's so talented. What do we do? <laughs> wow. Thousand yards in the season, good for him. That was 58 right off the bat. So for the rest of the game, he can't get like 40 or something. Ah, oh yeah, he's in 100 yards. Okay, well. Oh well.
Nice. Way to hold on to the football. I wanted to go crook, but I saw Bradley. 20 yards off the bat. Our offense could be worse. Zone read. Baker Stevenson. Here we go. Great fucking play right there. He's fast. Oh, almost. Planks with the drop there. At right, third and ten, not great. Outside of the field goal range of Lambert. Well, actually, I don't even know what his field goal range is anymore. Maybe we can get a field goal, but let's just not turn the ball over. We have the second worst third down conversions in the country. That's not good. Here we go. Damn. Oh, we're not even on our own side of the 50 anymore. Yeah, this is no longer field goal range. Damn it. Alright, you know what? I'll take it out of bounds, honestly. That's what I wanted to do. I would have liked it to be further, but... I felt like if we just punted it to them, they would return it for a good chunk of yards. Alright. Almost got a sack. One on one. Ah, oh, man. We just lose those matchups. We don't have the guys for that. Oh, this guy's left handed, too. Shit. Gunslinger. Yeah, Maze just can't keep up with him. 68 yards. All right, well, we'll get the ball back. Wow, torn hamstring, eight weeks. That's tough. I'm sorry, dude. Crook, nice catch. Way to hold on to the football, too. Nice run by Stevenson. All right, guns blazing. Play action. Hopefully we, or we have time to throw the ball. Man. Let's fucking go. That's huge for us. They left him open. It's a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Damn, Tech already has 164 yards of offense. God damn. Brutal. Oh no! Tragic! What am I supposed to do? They watch the tape. They know what we do. And now I'm not sure how we're going to win. Nice hit, Crook. <sighs> Man. End of the first quarter, down 21. Not great. Don't want to talk about it. Third and seven. Let's get a stop here. Zone defense. Play action. It's at bounce, I think. What? He got a foot in bounce? God damn. I don't know. Fuck it. Yeah, it was third down. I'll challenge it.
I couldn't tell if he had his foot in bounds. Are they saying his right leg was in bounds? No, his leg is in the air when he caught it. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. They're saying that's when he caught it. Oh, come on. I guess he did a toe drag. I don't get it. That's sad. That's the, I don't know. Damn, he just demolished Baker. Man, 37 yards of offense. That's tough. That was confusing. I'm not sure why you did that, but all right. Quarterbacks hurt. Shit. I mean, why are you still playing your starter when you're up 28 to zero? Gee whiz. Damn. 71 yards on four carries and two touchdowns already. Shit. All right, Brent Horn will be back, but not in this game. I feel like that's not a big deal. Play action, Wiggins, and. Man, okay. And they just keep on scoring. It's just ridiculous how this offense is making everything look so So we held the number one offense in football to 44 points. Meanwhile, Tech already has 35 and it's not even halftime. Like what am I supposed to do? And now I'm gonna get fired, I think. Man, okay. Let's get some points on the board, huh? How does that sound? He has he thrown? Oh, God. This is sad. I wish there was a way you could, like, quick sim matches, because holy shit. Like, I do not need to play the rest of this game. <laughs> hey, Luke Baker, complete a pass! Yay! Nice. It's halftime. Hundred and sixty two yards on seven rushes with three touchdowns. Yeah, I'd say we got owned. Definitely our worst defensive performance by far. Bradley having a heck of a game now. Bradley again. What a catch. Oh my god. We have nine first downs, but no points. Catch, Whittle. I take it back. Willis hurt again. 
dead ass made of glass. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, fun. Okay. <clears throat> hey, we gotta stop. Why are you going for it? Oh, you guys are so annoying. It's fourth and goal. You're up 55 points. I don't see a point in going for it. Unless you really want to just be a dick. Play action too? Oh, thank God that didn't work. Fuck you guys. Bill Burr, I'm glad you're happy. I think you may have forgotten the amount of points the other team has, but I'm glad that you're happy. Dukes, and he didn't drop it. Nice! I hit the wrong button, but that works. Bro, let's just keep throwing it, honestly. Bradley again. Nice. Hey, he's over 100 yards. That's huge. Let's go. This is doable. Holy shit. Holy shit, he's gonna score! Oh my god, let's go. That's so funny. He has 100 yards rushing, yay! That would be the first time anyone's gone over 100. Oh my god. I'm surprised no one got him. That's so funny. 56 yard run for Baker. And we're finally on the board. We're not getting shut out. I mean, I guess we'll onside kick it. Pretend like we're trying to win. Damn it. Do we get another try or no? We do, okay. Oh, that was not good. Okay, whatever. We scored points! And now I feel a little bit better about this terrible loss. Baker stats are on offense, <laughs> not his defensive stats. Where's the screen? Where's the... Okay, whatever. Final score, we got 7, but they got 69. Nice. Good games. Alright, thank you for watching this episode of the Emerson College Football Dynasty. I hope we win soon. Here are some quick stats before we head out. 400 yards, that's definitely our worst defensive performance. Um, we threw 13 of 23 for 174 yards, but three picks. That's bad. Um, sacked an abysmal nine times. Our offensive line, real bad. Especially Mays, three sacks allowed. Brian Robinson and Bruce Johnson also allowed sacks, so. Luke Baker obviously had the funny long run for a touchdown, but he ran the ball eight times for 105 yards and a tud. Stevenson, five for 22. I don't know why Luke Ross was out there, but obviously we lost 81 yards because of Paris getting sacked. That's terrible. Uh, Bradley had a career game today, despite us getting blown out. Six catches, 124 yards. Whittle also caught three for 27. Dukes, two for 32. Stevenson, two for seven. Crook for one for seven. And Blanks had a drop. I'll take out the drops. Three drops, one by Dukes, one hit the lineman, and then one by Blanks. Defense, not a lot of tackles. At least they were spread out between these guys. 
Uh, no sacks. Only two tackles for loss by Zach Hayes and Richard Bracken. No picks. Um, two deflections by Mays and Taylor. No fumbles. I don't think we got any turnovers. And then Willis, uh, he'll be out for two weeks, but he got a field goal block. No field goal kicks were attempted. Again, punting was not great, and which is why we kind of didn't want to punt. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.